Hey, we would like to send you a free gift. If you click on the link in our description and sign up for our mailing list, we'd be happy to send you one. Now here's the video. Hello, I'm Derek with Adobe Rock in Erta, Utah. Today we wanted to talk about a few different soil amendments and how you can use them to cook up a mixture for your garden that will help grow whatever you'd like. It's always nice to have help in the kitchen or the garden, and Emily has agreed to help me today. The first soil amendment we have here is coconut coir, which we sell in a solid 11 pound brick. The brick is solid, but when you soak it in water, it expands to a light and fluffy mixture. Coconut coir is made from everything from the inner shell outward of a coconut. In the past, this outer casing was thrown away when coconut was harvested, but it now has this eco-friendly use. It's also reusable through many seasons, unlike peat moss. Coir is one of the most effective materials for water retention and can absorb 10 times its weight in water. The coir holds the water and releases it to your plants, so it's great for keeping your plants hydrated while not making them feel drowned. You know, Emily, coconut is used to make some of my favorite desserts. I wonder if coir tastes good. You should try it. Here at Adobe Rock, we also sell perlite and vermiculite. Perlite is a natural mineral. When it is heated to 1,650 degrees, it pops like popcorn. We call it the anti-compactor, and it's the absolute best at breaking up clay soils and providing aeration for your plants. Vermiculite is also a mineral that is processed with heat. When it's heated, it expands into layers of thin plates. Like perlite, it also aerates the soil, but retains water at the same time like a sponge. One of our favorite soil amendments is lava fine. It's also called lava sand or lava dust. Lava sand is paramagnetic. After watching this video, you can Google paramagnetism to find out what that means. We aren't scientists, but as we understand it, the paramagnetism of lava sand essentially helps reorganize the other particles in the soil to make it more fertile. It adds some of its own nutrients, but it also makes the existing nutrients already in your soil more available to your plants. Lava sand also looks a lot like chocolate. Emily, we should try some to see if it tastes good. The tried and true long-standing method of amending soil is to add organic material to it. We have a couple of options available here at Adobe Rock. This is something we call black gold poultry compost. This is chicken litter that we get from the Fazio egg farm here in Erda. We compost it and let it age and then we screen it. This batch has been aged six to seven years. It's very high in nutrients and should be mixed with your soil before planting. Our higher end compost is adobe mulch compost and it's made by adding the black gold to finely ground natural wood material. Our adobe mulch compost will help aerate your soil but more importantly it will add the nutrients your plants need to thrive. Derek, if the black gold compost is a poultry compost Maybe it tastes like chicken nuggets. You should try it. I wouldn't say it's like chicken nuggets, but it's not too bad. Thanks for watching and learning with us today. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the next video where Emily and I will add these ingredients together to make a few types of soil. You can also check out our channel for other helpful videos. And until next time, let us know if we can help rock your world.